The Nautilus Hook, a technically advanced design that sets a new global safety standard for general lifting hooks, has now been adapted to benefit another key energy industry requirement, subsea lifting operations. Existing spring latch hooks, since they were created primarily for use top sides, have one serious design flaw when used for subsea lifts. Slings are kept in place by the weight of the load. When a load for subsurface deployment comes into contact with a splash zone or is moved through the water column, the resulting hydrodynamic force, winch speed and vessel movement may all combine to introduce sufficient slack and movement into the slings for them to self-release by rising up and working their way past the spring latch nib and ultimately out of the hook when weight is reapplied. This well-documented problem has resulted in many instances of damage to expensive equipment or even more expensive downtime for recovery operations. The snap hook style hook also presents the possibility of unplanned, inadvertent hooking of umbilicals, subsea structures and similar items. The Nautilus patented self-locking technology has been adapted to create an ROV-specific hook that meets all subsea operational criteria. The risk of a load self-releasing has been eliminated and the hook sets a new standard for the subsea lifting industry with its ability to load and discharge securely and effectively every time. The ROV hook is available in two versions, long shank and standard eye top, both with a safe working load of 22 tonnes. The Nautilus ROV hook is a positive self-locking hook, specifically designed to improve safety in subsea lifting operations. When the hook is loaded and hanging vertically, the hook is locked by the patented locking mechanism and release of the load can only be achieved by an ROV manipulator releasing the lock. Load Discharge Once the item has been landed on the seabed or another structure, safe and positive discharge of the load is easily achieved as Nautilus ROV hooks have an unobstructed and outward opening locking arm which eliminates the potential for the fouling of slings and unintended hookup. In a simple discharge operation, the ROV manipulator can then grasp the release line lanyard and pull at an angle of 45 degrees to release the locking latch and raise the hook to the open position. The unique parabolic design of the internal load-bearing profile facilitates a quick and easy discharge of slings or master link. It is not necessary to adjust the hook's orientation as there are no obstructions to hamper the discharge. Subsea lifting procedure. Standard method. The ROV orientates itself side-on to the hook with the hook's handle facing to port. With the hook in the vertical position, the port manipulator should grab the shank and by rotating the manipulator wrist 75 degrees anti-clockwise bring the shank almost to a horizontal position with the handle at the bottom. The starboard manipulator can now grasp and pull the release line lanyard at an angle of 45 degrees to release the locking mechanism. The hook will swing downwards and open under its own weight. The starboard manipulator can now release the monkey fist and load the sling, master link or shackle into the open Nautilus hook. Once the hook is loaded, the port ROV manipulator rotates the shaft back to the vertical position, where the hook will automatically lock once vertical. Alternatively, the port manipulator, while still holding the hook in the open position, can manoeuvre it into a saddle, eye or lifting insert box. The opening operation can of course be done with the handle facing starboard with either manipulator, depending on the circumstances. Subsea lifting procedure. Alternative method. The hook is lowered, already secured in the open position, by a weak link cable tie. One manipulator can then direct the hook into a saddle or eye in the correct position. Once weight is applied to the hook, it rotates, 
breaking the weak link and closing automatically. Backup release system. The release catch has a 4mm drilled hole, allowing for the attachment of a secondary release wire loop. This can be attached when it is critical that the hook be released, forged from high quality alloy steels under stringent quality control. Nautilus ROV hooks are manufactured to European standards that also meet the requirements of the USA ASME standard for lifting hooks. Nautilus ROV hooks are CE certified as fit for purpose, satisfying supply compliance and documentation requirements. The polypropylene release line lanyard has a monkey fist pattern at the end and is buoyant due to its materials and construction and allows ROV manipulators an excellent means of grasping the release. The primary release wire is a bespoke 316 stainless steel fitting, tested to operate at up to 1200 kilograms force. Hooks are supplied with primary wires already fitted, with the wire passing through a precast hole in the handle and attached directly to the lock shaft, which provides the optimum angle for the best leverage coefficient to ensure the release operates smoothly. Like the original Nautilus hook, the handle and lock components are integral parts of the hook body, which eliminates any potential for dropped objects. Nautilus has calculated optimum dimensions for an insert lifting box that can be incorporated into subsea equipment designs to facilitate the use of the hook. Nautilus ROV hooks are the next generation in subsea ROV lifting hooks. The positive locking function provides operators a cost-efficient solution to safe, secure lifting every time.